tuope kata cha ku mwenyewe kata wala huku wazima kata hebu leo jitole kata hebu leo jionyeshe kata hebu leo kitingishe kata hebu leo jipuchue kata kata mwanangu kata 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 it's going to be based on our, pro our program in, in, in Tanzania, the high schools and the colleges over here, and the professional clubs over here. So it's, and it's something which I believe each, each entity has something to gain from. The funds that we can get to set up a good soccer academy will allow us to make better students of the kids, the soccer kids and at the same time make them better footballers. Our primary focus initially was to address solutions that, tar that, that target kids who have lost parents to HIV. But we have expanded uh, our target now and we're trying to focus on any program that just creates self-sufficient uh, ventures at, at, in Africa. We are hoping that we can actually support projects at home that show potential in terms of self-sufficiency. There's that initial portion of just building that bondage with, their own, with other kids, especially kids who are coming from difficult families in terms of, at that point, that's probably the best time in, t in terms of their daily lives. Most of the time when they go back home, it's back to reality back to the hardship. So the only actually moment where they really are free and you see them enjoying themselves is at the soccer field. And because most of them, they really love the game, that's the, that they will do anything to actually be there for practice. Main problem that they have is the soccer shoes. Um, Probably like less than half of the kids who come there do not have any soccer shoes. They use whatever it is that they can use. And that is something which we really do need. Uh, besides the soccer shoes, there are some other items that I know they will also need for coaching. Issues like bibs, so that you can separate the teams, cones, uh, jerseys. Uh, and basically any, any soccer related item that usually is needed on everyday practice. And we're not talking about anything new. We're talking about used soccer shoes, used jerseys, used shorts. I mean, I was in Africa actually, like in January, and even though you have people selling used shoes, there was a gentleman who was selling used, for, used shoes for $2, but that was still too expensive for anyone in that team to actually purchase. The passion that we have in Africa for this game is so, it's, I mean, it's, it's amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm reaching out actually to the academies over here, to those who actually love this game and those who know that they can actually use this game to help themselves in terms of their life. If you have anything that is used that you don't think you might need, please you can contact us. We'll find a way to actually ship it to Africa, and uh, if you can relate to what I'm saying, I'm pretty sure we'll get your support. Whichever support you can give, we'll take it. So.